at uh, a very cold Agber, it must be said, but the pitch is in excellent condition. York in their away kit of uh, sky blue, uh, white shorts and white socks. Goalkeeper Peter Jameson in all white. Uh, the Harriers team just coming out now. Harriers, as I say, in all red. And they make no changes from the side that uh, drew a 1-1 with Hereford on Saturday. Further on to Barrow, who angles the ball across field, and there's a bit of space here for Cassidy. But Cassidy unable to control it, but it's a good run on the far side. Now an opportunity, low cross into the middle, and drilled in, and a goal for York. Early doors. And I think it's... Uh, see the score They've run in at, the far, at this uh, near side. And York are ahead. The ball drilled across the uh, Harriers goal. And uh, a fantastic conversion. Poor clearance to the halfway line. Picked up by Montrose for Harriers. The Harriers captain picking out Hemmings, who's centre of the park now. Just trying to angle the ball out to the fullback, the overlapping fullback, Caleb Bridges. The ball takes a deflection on his way in, drops down to Austin on the edge of the box, and his shot, rising from 18 yards, goes over Peter Jameson's crossbar. Harriers half of the field and Harriers will start from the back again as a oh, poor ball from Moyo intercepted by Jack Redgill. Redgill going up against low. Fires in a shot, parried away by the keeper. Good save that from uh, Simpson diving away to his left hand side. Harriers guilty of some sloppy football there defensively by uh, Cliff Moyo. And it's Harriers who have an opportunity. It's a free kick from 10 yards inside the York half of the field, but it is wide on this right-hand side that Hemmings, with two arms aloft, will look to try and pick out four big men who are there. Lowe's made a late run. It's played right across the area. And Cliff Moyer, unable to get his uh, finishing touch on it, Placing it down, Harriers throwing all their bodies into the near six-yard box. Then they play it short out to Austin. Austin will clip the ball towards the far post. An opportunity, and it's a goal for Keith Lowe. Poor defending from Peter James, and he came to punch and missed it completely. And Keith Lowe is there to convert from Sam Austin's chip centre to that back post. And having not really threatened at all, could have the Harriers to find themselves back on level terms on 42 minutes with Moyer up to the halfway line. Austin trying to turn away from right, playing it up to Fremantle, holding the ball up well and swinging it wide to Amari Sterling, who's got there, uh, sorry, Hemmings, who's got space on that right hand side. Penny galloping up on that uh, right hand side, but it's a poor ball in actually from the Harriers wide man, and York have a chance to hit them on the counter as the ball's played forward and three against one as the ball's played forward again. Woods, the goal scorer, trying to flick it in, cry for handball, it's come off Moyo, who so thinks it was his chest. But it's uh, a penalty awarded to York. Newton against Simpson. He's going to replace the ball. But he now stamps it, his foot, left foot below it. We're going to hit it this time. It's it drilled it into the right hand corner, and Newton has restored the advantage from the penalty spot. And Harriers trail by two goals to one. Brackley still leading Darlington by a goal to nil. As we say, Chester leading Geisley by a goal to nil. Moyo, oh, he's been uh, caught in possession this time. Cassidy into the area, plays it back low with the deflection. And it's Prosser, Maxwell in support. Just trying to draw York out, and York are having none of it at the moment. They've got their, they set their stall to uh, keep this back. Fremantle on the ball, on the edge of the area. Nobody in the area for Harriers. Play back into the centre. And right there, only as far as Hemmings. Hemmings going to get the ball onto his right foot this time. Takes a deflection. Headed away by Tinkler. The ball's back in again. And then it's hooked clear. While well, York defending in numbers. And defending successfully as the ball is away. On that far side of the field. And Harriers will make their change. And it's Prosser who's coming off. Give it to Harriers substitution. Leaving the field. He's number 16, Alex Prosser, replaced by number 12, Jason Cowley. So, changes again for Harriers. Coming in the 72nd minute, just 18 minutes for Kearney to come on. Harriers have got to turn bodies around now and start to face it back towards the York goal. And it's Hamming again, who cuts in field, right foot across it, flick header from Fremantle, and he's flicked it over the bar. And that was a good opportunity. And allowing Harriers to, to go on, so... On this occasion, Matty Brown may be getting away with that. As the ball's played in from Sterling, it's hooked away this time by Brown. 
over the halfway line. Cassidy being held off there. Good work from Sterling. Moya out to low, right hand side. Harry is still pressing on, trying to get this equalising goal. Fremantle chested down, finds Cowley with a shot. What a strike! What a way to score your first goal in Harriers' colours. Driving the ball in, right footed. And he's drilled it from 20 yards to give Harriers an equalising goal. 11 minutes to the break, to the end, but Cowley it is. Indeed, York coming forward, left hand side, trying to find a weakness in the back line for Harriers, but Lowe is there to clear his line. Suggested down by Newton. It will drop for a Harriers foot, though. It's Maxwell. Austin's run away to this left hand side. Maxwell's coming across the uh, centre circle. Now he finds Austin. Back to Caleb Richards. Down the line is uh, Fremantle. Fremantle turning against that back line. Austin's. Just trying to catch up with him now. Fremantle turns in field. He curls it all. Oh. That was just inches wide. Fremantle again seeking his first goal in Harriers' colours. One ball again now. Direct. Oh, and Moyo just cushioning that down to his goalkeeper. And it is a full time whistle goes from referee John Kenny. Harriers are twice fighting back after training to an early, initially an early Michael Woods goal after just four minutes, giving York the lead. Harriers levelling three before the break as Keith Lowe headed into an unguarded net after a mistake by Jameson. A penalty awarded for handball against Cliff Moyo, who restored York's advantage as captain Sean Newton drilled the ball in. But Harriers, perhaps fittingly, Fooled it to 2 2 with 11 minutes remaining. Jason Cowley, a wonder strike from about 20 plus yards.